Hi friends. I wasn't sure that I was going to make this video or just quietly ghost you all, but I randomly met a viewer in real life a couple days ago and it made me, re me remember that you people are great and I really appreciate you and your support and viewership over these past few years and I really owe you some explanation before I basically disappear. So here it is. It's really weird saying this in such a public forum owned by a privacy mining mega corporation, but for myriad reasons, here it is. <laughs> in the late spring, I was diagnosed with cancer. And first, let me give you the big few part that means everything. Um, I am being treated with curative intent and it's pretty serious but curable. Um, of course, there's always unknowns with this disease and I can't predict the future beyond the wisdom and experience of the doctors and scientists, but my prognosis is good. Uh, eventually, after a lot of pretty grueling treatment, I should get better. Um, so that's what I've been doing on my summer vacation. Really not much of a vacation. Um, that's where I've been since I disappeared from YouTube. I had to make a lot of really hard decisions as to what I could handle while undergoing treatment and feeling hard a lot of the time. And it was evident pretty fast that with all its deadlines and physical aspects, reselling had to go. And without reselling, there isn't really any fodder or up-to-date knowledge for me to share with you on YouTube. So I haven't been here. Um, so I took the big leap and quit. Bye-bye <laughs> to uh, 10,000 plus listings in my eBay store and various other avenues on top of that. And um, bye-bye to my YouTube channel, even though I was like super close to getting monetized and was pushing to uh, do that last little bit of consistent posting. So um, how did it feel to quit reselling? This feels weird to say that, but um, I mean, I'd say terrible because I really love reselling and it's true that it's hard to stop doing something you really enjoy, but the sheer relief of, of finalizing the decision um, told me that it was the right thing to do and I, definitely what I needed to do to leave room for healing. Um, my sort of logical overachiever work brain said no, but my I, I viscerally knew that is definitely what I needed to do. So. Um, so it's basically been a couple months now, effectively, and I have to tell you that so much space has opened up in my brain to be able to focus on getting better and on what might be next. Um, I have so many ideas and I think I have some, some really solid plans for my other business, Keep Salem Odd. And I mean, it's weird to be sitting here with all kinds of wacko chemo and radiation side effects and with all the uncertainty of the future and to say that I'm actually really excited about the future, but it's, it's true. Um, honestly, I mean, I have cancer and I don't always feel good and I also do kind of feel good mentally a lot of the time, which is an unexpected thing for which I'm really grateful. Um, I mean, it's a cliche, but sometimes a crisis really gives you that mother load of clarity and that is a gift. So I'm not sure if I'll ever come back to online reselling. It's possible. I, I have no idea. Um, like we broke up on really good terms and <laughs> like, I think it was very amicable. Um, I don't know about YouTube either. Um, I do, I do enjoy teaching and I love learning from the communities here and I like people in the reselling community, but, um, I think that things will be totally different if I ever come back 
Um, so who knows? Uh, I'm going to keep this pretty short, but I'll answer a few logistical questions and I'll try to be good in the comments um, eventually <laughs> if you have more. Just because I know this is the kind of thing that is, I, I mean, when I hear this kind of news about someone, it freaks me out and I want to like know how they're going to be and what, what they're going through. Just, you know, empathy, sympathy, nosiness, whatever. Like I just, you know, we care about each other, I hope. So anyway, here's um, a few logistical things just about me and also what is happening with my store because I think it's, it's an interesting, I mean, think about, you know, what you need to do if something happens that is gonna, that forces you to quit or cut back on reselling unexpectedly. I mean, it's really important to have a strategic plan um, and, you know, stuff like insurance and health insurance and standard operating procedures and all this stuff, like just give it some thought because it is um, something you might need. <laughs> anyway, so uh, first question, what's happening to my inventory? I decided to work with a local real uh, a local uh, estate sale company that I like and trust to help me liquidate it on Auction Ninja, um, which they use regularly on top of doing their in-person estate sales. And I chose this route from a lot of different possibilities because it seems like the least stressful way to do everything mostly at once. I'm aiming for simplicity as the priority on a lot of things right now. And so that's the way I chose to go. Will I make a mint? Probably not. <laughs> um, should I recoup some costs and have my inventory out there in front of a good audience? Um, yeah, hopefully. And I mean, I'm hoping to move about, I don't know, 10 to 15,000 items from me to people who need them, want them, or are going to resell them. Um, obviously a lot of that will be lots, most of it will be lots, but it's a lot of stuff. Um, there will probably be several auctions that are all or partially my stuff. Some might be sort of specialist um, for ephemera, postcards, um, I'm not sure what else, maybe buttons, maybe, I don't know, but um, they will probably start in September or they we're planning to start in September. And I don't know the details yet, but I will definitely uh, post some messages here in the community tab, if not some shorts, uh, to let you know when those happen in case you're interested, either just, you know, like nosy or wanna buy stuff, either ways, great fun. Um, the estate sale company I'm working with is called Sisters Estate Sale. They're somewhat local to me in Massachusetts and you can follow them on Auction Ninja now if, or join their mailing list if you uh, want to be notified. And they do have really good sales online, so I recommend them anyway, regardless of me. Um, another question I thought people might have is, what if I wanted you to ask, what, <laughs> sorry, what if I still wanted to ask you an eBay question? So every day that passes, I become less of a good eBay resource <laughs> because I'm not on there every day and things change constantly. Like every time I pop on to check a little something or other, um, everything's different. And, and when I say that, I mean, my store is not operational right now. It's, it's on vacation mode and it will be totally closed as soon as I um, get around to that in a, like a week or so. But it's, it's not up. So I'm not there much. Um, so I am not a good resource for eBay technical, logistical, day-to-day -day stuff probably anymore. Um, you know, I still know a lot about the genres that I specialize specialized in, like photography and ephemera and paper and postcards and like all the stuff you know about if you watch my video. And I could potentially answer a question if you have one about that. Um, but there's also a lot of cool people out there who are actively building their YouTube channels and their Patreons and their Facebook groups and their whatever. And you should probably ask them because they are in it. 
Um, and that all said, I am still, at least for the time being, offering consulting for about um, bulk uploads as that's an area that changes very slowly, like it's always backwards compatible. And um, it's something that I have an uncommon specialized knowledge about and I've been able to help a lot of people with it, which um, makes me happy. <laughs> so if uh, you do need help with CSV uploads or the thing we used to call file exchange or bulk uploads, flat file uploads, whatever you want to call it, um, feel free to drop me an email, which I will get to eventually, um, hopefully sooner rather than later. And I will um, try to answer, you know, quick questions. And if you need more than that, I um, will be offering an option for paid consulting. If that's, you know, something you're in the, um, you're shopping for. <laughs> and uh, that sort of segs nicely into the next topic, which is, um, so yeah, quitting eBay has left me in really tight circumstances financially, um, not, you know, in desperate straits, but it's, it's hard. And again, I, I urge you to make plans for unexpected crises. It's a really good idea. Um, and so I do have health insurance, luckily. Um, it doesn't pay for everything, but I'm, it's, it's okay. We're doing, doing okay. And, um, but, you know, being an entrepreneurial person, I basically really can't do much work. I'm doing as much as I can on Keep Salem Odd, but it's our slow season at the moment, and it's, I can't really do very much. I mean, I'm, I'm traveling, I spend three hours a day minimum going to treatment and it's usually more so <laughs> it's um and you know don't feel good so it's it's hard um and I do have some really great support from my family and my friends and other people like strangers even it's amazing um but if you are in a position to help and are interested um I my sister just set up a GoFundMe for me which I didn't ask for, didn't expect, and I'm like humbled and like embarrassed that she did that. But I'm also like insanely grateful because it's really, really going to help me stay afloat until I can work more, which is going to be whew, like two months maybe from now. I'm not sure. I, it's hard to say. It's going to take me a long time to get back to normal, my doctors tell me, but I'll be partway there sooner rather than later, I suppose. Um, so anyway, don't feel obligated, but if it's appropriate to you, to your feelings, <laughs> um, please do check out my GoFundMe um, or check out the um, estate sales on Auction Ninja when I have them. And um, I'm going to just put a whole bunch of links down below of how you can find me and all this stuff. And um, again, thank you for everything and it's been so gratifying to have people be interested like mostly <laughs> in what I had to say about reselling and history and ephemera and being an independent business and all the things that I like to go on about and are, I'm still passionate about um, and these things will you know with the exception of maybe specifically reselling these things are going to continue to be a theme in my life and maybe you'll find me again in another guise or in this guise transformed I don't know but again yes it's it's I'm intensely grateful to everyone who has watched a video or part of a video or um, left a comment or said something nice or click the buy me a coffee link or um, participated and engaged it's it's awesome or, or, or hit the thumbs up you know um, and I encourage you to just keep going with your independent business and keep learning and growing and helping each other because like, it's just awesome. So thank you and take care.